You guys want, I think I already made a whole video about this Pokey drama, but the one thing, basically Pokey main, friend of the show, great, great lady, big fan. Uh, she's a Twitch streamer for those of you who don't know her. She's really a big streamer. This is her for those who are not familiar. There was a really interesting development, but I'll just give you the basic rundown is that some dude was hate rating her. Pokemon gets way too much crap. She's she's a pretty girl and people just don't like women. What can I say? There's it, it's it's a gamer culture. There's a lot of incels. There's a lot of freaking betas. And they say, well, the only reason she's successful is because guys fantasize about being with her and it's pathetic and people always target her. It's what happened with this with this one guy. Beta. Beta. <laughs> this guy Dijon, who, by the way, I'll say to his credit, has apologized and stuff and seems to have made a sincere apology. I don't know if it's just because he was it's kind of crazy. He was suspended for 14 days and then they converted it to a permanent ban. And all of it happened on his first day on the platform, right? Or the first day of being a, uh, he had just been partnered and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's got to be, that's a speed run right there. That's a band <laughs> For speed sure. run. <laughs> For sure. It day definitely one band. Is. But I, 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 I'm not super familiar with Twitch like culture and rules, but apparently sending people to another streamer's chat to, to be hateful is like big, big, big no-do instant, instant ban shit. So, I mean, the guy should have known better. Love, you're familiar with Twitch. I mean... Yeah, pretty obvious outcome, right? Right. Yeah, they have that raid feature where you just send your shot to their shot. Oh, so they so, don't want people abusing that. Yeah, it's a weird feature to be honest. I don't know. It's it just like, seems ripe for abuse. Yeah, like, Dan pointed out that it's like very. That's inevitable. That that's what it's yeah. going to be used for. So but. he used that feature. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, crazy! And he encouraged people to like spam in her shot and. Yeah. Yeah. Even after he was banned, he didn't immediately apologize. He kept going on with it on different platforms. Yeah, yeah I, I'm going to show that. Okay. I, I, wanna, I do want to show that. Something I saw is a lot of people were saying, just pointing to transcripts of the chat, saying it's not that bad. Because basically what, they were just spamming L plus ratio in her chat. Right. Which, when I saw that, without the context of the actual video, I was like, that doesn't, I mean... That seems kind of goofy. Like that's not that's not that hateful. Uh, I think you know that what I mean? those were cherry picked. You know, on Twitch, those well, those that was guys the thing. Then nasty, I I so. saw the video of him organizing it and what he was saying about her and telling and, and with that context, it suddenly became clear to me. It's like, oh yeah, he was trying to bully her, or pick of on course, her. Of course, Keemstar got involved and all these like reactionary incels and like the quartering got involved, being like, what is misogyny? They're saying misogyny. It's bull It's like, dude, it's obvious misogyny. Women hating. I'll I'll show you. But here, I guess Yo, this is it. Uh, Ab. Guys, 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 guys. Yeah, guys. this can, is how it started. Can, can you turn it up a little bit, Dan? From on my side, I can't hear it too well. Yeah, I got it. Oh, thank you, Zach. Follow her. Follow her. Follow her. Follow her right now, y'all. Follow her right now. Follow her right now. We're gonna be back, y'all. We will be back. Oh, y'all niggas already follow her. Yo, what the f bro? What the fuck? Guess who's a better I, gamer? Ooh, you are, no, John. I, said, I was huge. That was huge. That was huge. By the way, she's minding her own business. I don't even know why he's doing this. Uh, the reason Here. the reason he's saying follow her is because I guess the, her mods turned on like follow only mode, so you need to follow her. That's why he's screaming follow her. Right. So you is need there, to follow to chat. Dan, there's a clip of him before this where he's, or is the bad part in this clip? Yeah, it's in that clip. Okay. Okay. Good. Watching B, oh, don't yeah. don't stand where I'm on. She it. sees it. Oh wait, I gotta move her. I gotta move my face cam. Yeah. They just r w randomly wobbing. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I can't move it, y'all. <laughs> it fucking froze. It was so fast. Oh, she's, no, yeah. she's making a stick ass face. You're you're she see it here. Spots. So what do I do? Let's see, what do what I do? She I sees do? it, y'all. Why is he doing it? He knows he's going to get banned. Like, this is obvious ban on Twitch. Uh, he is new. He. he he yeah. very well may have just not known that this was a big no-no. I think I merely buy the best chat, in the game. Who is, Look at her. who is Gideon? Okay. Who's Gideon? You know who Gideon no, is. No I can't believe you can just eat whenever you want. You're giving God before Bozo. the round starts. Funny. Right? That's so fun. <laughs> they moved in the sub only? Yeah. I hear what am I seeing the spam? One out of the bathroom. Oh, your ass, bro.
<laughs> you know what? I can't. Okay. Yeah. I I can't go too crazy because Twitch loves her, so I'm not gonna say anything mean. I have a blind for you, Hall. If they push you. Now you apologize. You did that shit to yourself. Damn. Damn. Fired. Should I give subs so we can ratio her again, y'all? Do y'all think it's worth it? Ah, fuck, bro. I I really don't want to give her any money. I really, bro. They turned sub mode on so fast. They turned sub mode on so fucking fast. These are confusing, bro. Oh, bro. That is so funny. Is it? And yes. My Aries really sucks, crazy. though. What's so special about that? Mr. Side, Mr. Seven. Why does he hate her? He's got 11K. So Love, why, oh, why is he mad at her? Hmm. Actually, Pokemon tweet or something. I, no, I don't know why he's mad, actually. No. Yeah. It's like, Later in this clip, he starts yelling the things that you hear a lot about. Uh, okay, let me, let me keep she's playing. Not, she's not going to fuck you. Like, oh, right. That was it. I want to yeah. keep it. Yeah, I want to hear that. Are telling his community to do it. Niggas are cap. Aries. Niggas are snitching. Niggas are snitching. Bro, she's not going to fuck you. She's not going to fuck you, bro. She's not going to fuck you, nigga. Nigga, why are you snitching? Stupid miners. Oh, hell no. Nah. You know, it's funny. The real simp is him. He's like the five-year-old who's got a crush on a girl who flicks her ear so she notices him. I mean, dude, if anyone's trying to actually get her attention, it's you, dude. It's pathetic. It's pretty true. S-I-M-P. Yeah. <laughs> he is a professional raw dogger, by the way. Right. Bro, I'm, just, I'm showing love. Y'all, did I not says. say to go show? Professional raw, raw dogger. dogger. Hell yeah. We're trying to find the rawest of the raw. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's funny because most of his fans are like eight. Right. I guess most of his fans are the uh, consequence of raw do dogging. <laughs> Recent raw dogging. <laughs> sure. So maybe he's just representing his fan base. I see. Pokemon love. Did I not say that? Chat. Did I not say go show Pokemon love? But shut Did up. Did I not say, bro, I said, I said W plus ratio. Isn't that what I said? That's literally what I said. Did I not say W plus ratio? This guy has literally a stripper pole in his apartment. Um, sorry? Not what I said. Chad, is that not what I said? Bro, her shit shot up like 2K. So is that the part about she's not going to fuck you? Yeah. And I she, think he went on and on about on it. it. I mean, like, it's like 15 minutes long. We don't have to watch it all. But but this is the sentiment that you see of why people hate her and other women in gaming. It's like this insinuation that Pokimane, who by all means is not even like provocatively dressed or scantily clad or showing cleavage or anything like that. Not that there's anything wrong with those things, but it's just proof that she's very conservative successful on her own merits yet to in the eyes of all these incels uh it's like she's not gonna fuck you bro meaning the only reason people are watching is because she's hot and they think that they have a chance with her and they're simps and stuff um no dude you know that is misogyny you you think that that's the only reason she could be successful? In truth, dude, you want a chance with her. You want her attention, and that's why you're doing this. It's pathetic, bro. You're the simp. You're the simp. You know. I mean, you're the simp. Can't you see that? You guys are the ones begging for attention, man. Right. Yeah. Now your comparison to uh kid uh pushing the girl he has a crush on elementary school is yeah pretty apt grow up bro just say hi if you're so interested <laughs> right you don't got to send all your chat to seem like you're like interesting or important or something like it's just sad anyway he got suspended for 14 days he went on instagram live i'm getting to the new development if you guys i made an h3 tv not to be confused with this channel the h3 tv my channel uh, about this, so I'm catching I'm up. I'm bringing up the real side of Twitch. Hers, I mean, uh, Matthew, when you clip this, make this a separate part when I get to it. I'm gonna let you guys know about the real color or other minorities within the last year or two over COVID. I oh, think sorry. I likely would have retired from streaming this year. Oh, really? Like, I likely would have. Why did Because feeling like your existence 
is friction in the industry that you're in, it's just not fun. Like at some point you're like, fuck this shit, I wanna have a good life. I wanna hang out. <laughs> Pokey, you're the only female streamer oh, I know I that is hated right. that way. It is not a... Right, so this was after he got suspended for 14 days. And so he went on Instagram Live and basically doubled down on all of it. and Which right. is, I think, probably the motivating factor for them making it permanent. Because right. he clearly was not apologizing. He was doing the opposite, really. The number one uh, like show of... Uh... He went out and tweeted out this picture of her of, without makeup on, which apparently all these pathetic, uh, insecure men think is the, the ultimate own, apparently. Um, he goes, new profile pic. And this was something that a lot of reactionary, like, look at her without makeup, bro. Freaking own. Like, who? where's your God now, simps? A girl without makeup? Freaking dominated, bro. <laughs> Yeah, it's the picture. It looks good. What's yeah, the yeah, this is the picture Leafy used in his twelve-part series, whatever it was, uh, bullying her for no reason. Cool. Big reveal of his video was that she had a uh, boyfriend, which wasn't true. Cool. Fre freaking own, bro! You just got <laughs> wrecked, dude. Look at her. Look at a post she picked. She posted of herself, right, without makeup. Freaking own, Simps. Look at her. Where's your god checkmate? <laughs> yeah. Just uh, like an hour ago, um, if you take a look at the Discord, um, she posted something that's probably worth taking a look at. Oh, she posted something new? Yeah, it just looks like she's showing. Tired people minimizing the harassment I received over the past last week to just L plus ratio. So here's a list. Uh, okay, this is good. By the way, I've seen... Now, a lot of streamers and myself have defended her, but I've seen clips of it like on TikTok and around the web. And there, a lot of the, the majority of the little 12 year old uh, uh, results of raw dogging are still mad at her for this guy getting permanently banned, who she literally was minding her business. Jade on tweet negative, hateful things about me before the hate raid made YouTube videos about me. He hate raided me and told his viewers to spam L plus ratio. But this part matters the least. After I put on follower mode, he told his viewers to follow me so they can spam me. Guys, follow her follower. Yeah, we saw that. Open up profiles of my subs and called them snitches for telling me that he what he was doing, which leads to his viewers messaging my subs and harassing them, telling them to kill themselves, calling them slurs. He yelled, if you're from Pokey's chat and you have a penis, I'm going to tell you right now, she's not going to fuck you, bro. Uh, extreme sexual comments about me. There's more. Um, telling people that she's getting dicked down every night by another N-word. Balls deep, bro. I bet another N-word got 12 incher. She's getting a full foot long up her shit. Like, okay, dude. Told people to keep spamming me if he gets banned on Twitch. Said that I got him banned from Twitch multiple times. It's Twitch decision. Yeah, of course. It's like he does something dumb, gets banned, and then blames her. Like, she literally was minding her own business. Asked other streamers to go to war with him, including A. Ross. I was asking A. Ross to tweet at me, DM me, which increased the spam I got. Gifted Ninja 100 subs and asked to help get him a lesser ban. Ninja said, you can't raid bitches on Twitch. And D. John said, oh, he called her a bitch while clapping and celebrating. Ninja texted his Twitch representative to help him avoid a ban or pretend to. And I'll get into that. He And then he changed his profile pic to uh, her without makeup. When I went live on Twitch, he'd stream himself reacting to my stream on his IG live, which made me receive even more harassment. G. Don fans spammed all of my social media platforms with insult, threats, etc. You can imagine. Jessica Blevin, this is the part I'm getting to. That's Ninja's wife. DM me telling me Ninja has nothing to be sorry for and that he never texted his Twitch representative even though I sent her proof. Ninja texts me that I'm making a big mistake when I spoke out about my experience. Jessica then threatened to sue me. Yeah, I'm going to get that last part is really good. But it's like, dude, you are clearly obsessed with her. She doesn't want to have anything to do with it. It's like you're you're tracking her. You get banned and then you're tracking her live streams on other platforms. Bro, just you could have just said hi. Maybe she would have liked you. But now you got no shot. You blew your shot. Yep. 
Damn. Maybe he found out she had a, I don't know if she has a boyfriend or not, but he's like, oh, she got a boyfriend. I'm going to rage. <laughs> Incel rage. So that's that. But then the really interesting part came yesterday. And this is an update I haven't talked about. Is when Ninja's wife straight threatened to sue Pokimane, and which is incredible. Here is the clip that started. Help me, Step Ninja. Help me, Step Ninja. Guys, is I promise you guys. So, D D D Dijon Mustard or whatever his name is. Um went on Ninja's stream begging for help. How many, does, is Ninja even relevant, Love? Doesn't he get like... He fell off, dude. He fell oh, off he fell big off time. hard, L plus ratio. Now talk about a real L plus ratio. <laughs> yeah, <for sure. laughs> like, holy crap. <laughs> Wait. Literally. This is important. Okay. <laughs> I think this was, Some this is the moment oh, where boy. it all fell apart. Yeah, this is the moment. Bro, can we get an L plus ratio for freaking ninja on this right now? Let's get those flosses going, everybody. Come on now. Let's see some movement. Oh my god. Yeah. He should have erased his, his channel at that point and just walked off into the sunset. Um, well, and then he had the whole thing where he left Twitch to go to Mixer uh, exclusively, which uh, Microsoft ended up closing because nobody was using that service. And so I think that kind of killed all the momentum of his uh, viewership. Well, that's kind of interesting because there's other people that went to Mixer, came back to Twitch and were successful. Yeah, Shroud. Which is like, what happened? I guess Fortnite fell off and he was the I Fortnite I mean, he's guy. just not that entertaining, to be honest. He's a child's entertainer. Right. He's a child's uh, entertainer. Yeah. You might call him a raw dogger. <laughs> you could, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It seems like he still gets views, though. I mean, what is this? This is, wait. Yeah, the, you could see the, those are average uh, viewers. By no means. Is well, he... this was 150,000, so this looks like 20,000. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah. Or I mean, no, it's... it says 2,000. That's but... quite low for him. <sighs> anyway, here he is. There's negative things I could do. I could. By the way, playing Final Fantasy XIV original, like, bro, are you even trying? Message to my uh, representative. Bro, are you even trying? Like, what did you just call it? From Isn't this Final? Fantasy, what game sorry. is this? This is Final Fantasy XI. It's called XI. Are you sure? <laughs> no, I'm not actually. No, this is Final Fantasy XIV before the whatever. Nobody no, it's cares. not. I yes, it is, it bro. Is. I played this freaking game. I played 14 too. Love, love fact check that. You're, You're right, Twitch. Ethan. Oh! Okay, no, 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 wait, I, I don't actually know about it. I think so. I'm telling you, I saw this and I recognized it immediately. He's playing Final Fantasy 14 before they overhauled it. I didn't know you could still play that. Me neither. No, that's for sure. Final well, he's Fantasy just looking 11. at a video. He's not oh. playing it. Okay, whatever. Yeah, it's 11. I was right. Frick. You're no, right he's then. playing an MMO, dude. I know. 11 is an MMO. That was the original Final Fantasy MMO. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just watch. Anyways, Who cares? Yeah, Nobody cares. cares. Point, I'm like, oh, maybe he's joking. Like, maybe it's just a meme. Like, it doesn't mean he's actually going to do it. <laughs> I am trying to give full fucking benefit of the doubt at this point. Okay. Uh, all right, all right. I'll, I'll do it. Did Charlie log off? Oh, fuck. What? What's her name? Boy, shut your chops. I won't say her Boy. name, but I know her yeah, name. Yeah, because because he's got 14,000 viewers. We're not in sub mode, and he's sent his entire chat to fucking ask you for help so he doesn't get paid for Pokemon. By the way, Ninja's influence has clearly waned, as evidenced by the fact that his plea for help resulted in his friend getting permanently banned <laughs> instead of 14 days. So good job there, Ninja. Yeah. L plus ratio plus floss at New York t at Times Square in the rain. <laughs> that fucking video, man. <laughs> that fucking video. Yeah, that's up there with the Jesse Wellens cringe. Yeah. <laughs> we, really can we rewatch the Jesse Wellens cringe? Oh, wow, I haven't thought of that in a long time. That's probably the cringiest video on the internet. We I guess I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, uh, but let me finish this story. I don't want to get too sidetracked. 
<laughs> All right, I have to I'll... learn the Twitch environment better. I it's a want... it's a meme, dude. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he's like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll ask Sorry. for help. Blah blah blah. That's something. That's for sure. Yeah. Did someone say what? Did someone say? Yeah. Hold up. Now Slim is stunned. He's sleeping the groundskeeper. <laughs> He's a legend, bro. All right. All right. I sent the text. Oh, for I can't. I don't promise. I don't promise a goddamn thing. Yeah, well, you can't. I mean, you have no leverage or clout. You're like the biggest L Lord ever. Uh, well, that's not true. He's pretty rich just from that one year. I can't call him the biggest L Lord ever. Um, Cam. Yeah, this is basically Fortnite sent this to Ninja. For a Christmas card, you fell off. Damn. Fortnite. Fork and knife. Fortnite. Dude. Fortnite. Fork. Put a fork knife in him. All right. Thank you. Uh, so blah 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 blah. Ninja says he likes D John and will stream with him when the ban is lifted. And then Ninja DM'd Pokey, which is really funny because he, I guess, pretended to text Twitch. And then so Pokey is kind of a badass for share for showing all these. I think he said, "Hey, just so you just." want to hey so i just want you to know i swear on my grandfather's life who just passed away that i didn't text my twitch rep and you are making a big mistake um you need to up your your collateral because if your grandpa's already fucking dead then that's kind of an empty promise i was just thinking that it's kind of like uh seems kind of bullshitty i swear on the life of george washington <laughs> and and the idle threat you are making a big mistake i respect people like like i, I when pressed like that it's like don't give in to these fucking bullies bro that's just bully tactics you are making a big mistake she shows the text badass so then jessica ninja's wife and she's also his manager uh sent her this message check this shit out bro we, and this is the kind of text that sets me off, so I have mad respect for her for putting this out there and sticking to her guns. We are considering everything defamation of character at this point and getting our legal team involved. That's copy pasta right there. What did she defa- how did she defame you, dipshit? Literally all she said was that you were defending him, and you were. Come on, let's be honest. Well, and that, like, how could she have known? This is where it gets weird to me. It's like he, he said he, he texted, published, right? He did it. He grabbed his phone and started clicking. So I guess I texted. So he's saying that he lied and that that was fake, and he was just doing it to to get his fan, uh, G Don's uh, fans off his back. I guess it's not defamation. You're the one that lied, right? You are spewing a fucking liar, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> You're spewing lies to tens of thousands of people. You know Twitch. You claim you know his rep. And then you know from them that Tyler never reached out to anyone. And again, just said that to stop the harassment in his chat from Dejon viewers. We have clarified everything to you. You are actively bringing harassment to Tyler and I right at the highest level. And we are taking this very seriously. Um, You guys lied. You guys are the one with the pie on your face. Y'all fake texted. And acted like you cared about this dude. It turns out you don't care about anyone but yourself. And you're just a coward. And you didn't actually speak on anyone's behalf. Literally lying. Thank you, Hassan. Uh, here's Pokey's response. I think Jessica's trying to say that Ninja... Oh, well, yeah, she tweeted this. Jessica's trying to say that Ninja pretended to text his Twitch representative, which I'm willing to accept and cannot disprove. I just wanted the clip out there to show what happened. And then actually, incidentally, I also got this text from Hassan the same day. Oh. Thank you. 
uh, he sent me this very threatening message, which I have to share with you guys. He said, today I'm considering everything defamation of character at this point, and I'm getting my legal team involved. You are spewing lies to tens of thousands of people, and you know aut- autonomy. You claim to know the size of my head, and that I have I have never had a less than average sized head. And again, just saying that to stop the harassment in my chat from the leftovers viewers. I have clarified everything to you. You're actively bringing harassment to my head to body ratio right now at the highest level, and we are taking this very seriously. So Hassan is threatening defamation of character we're saying his head is small you hate to see it you hate to see it oh i love that take. it was inevitable yeah it was inevitable <laughs> number one l plus ratio <laughs> oh man <laughs> uh ninja involvement specifically began the day the hate raid Blah, blah, blah. Ninja addressed the situation on his next stream, saying he spoke with D. John Mustard about it, and now he can't send his views to hate raid others. Blah, 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 blah. Yada, yada, yada. Who gives a shit? That's it. Damn. But anyway, the point is is that Ninja's wife was threatening her in the DM, which I thought was great. <laughs> that DM is a, is a great one. Yeah, that's an instant classic. Yeah. yeah. We are considering everything defamation of character at this point and are getting our legal team involved that's what i say to my scale every morning (laughs) (laughs) threaten it um we got to go to break but real this is only 47 seconds long so this is my favorite and i'm i like jesse i'm friends with him but man this is the best clip on the internet (laughs) what up guys thank you for having me if you guys don't know who i am my name is jesse wellens and i am a youtube creator so I am here to talk about <laughs> speed, um, payback. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Need for Speed Payback, I'm. Bu- um. <laughs> yeah, it's a great game. Oh. But all right, all set aside. I'm a YouTube creator, Need for Speed Payback. It's coming out. I got my boy Marcus, executive producer here. He is the producer in the game. Thank you, Nick. Obviously, we're really excited to tell everyone about Nick. I love how he goes, I'm bombing, but he couldn't even get the words out. I'm bombing. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> what, what happened there? There was a teleprompter fucking. He up, came or? on the show and explained that yeah. uh, he, wasn't, he didn't know he was about to come on. <laughs> and I guess the teleprompter was moving too fast. <laughs> And it was just a perfect storm. It yeah. just kind of ran away. Oh, uh, poor guy. Man. And you become self aware in the moment, and then it's just, it's <laughs> poor, over. Poor fucking guy, dude. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, we got to go to break. <laughs> 